is your full body bar sculpt workout. I'm Action Jacqueline and we are going to tone your beautiful feminine physique from head to toe and lean out those muscles. We're gonna be using ankle weights and hand weights as an option. If you don't have them, you can do the whole workout without it. Let's get started. We're gonna start with a nice warm up with the feet together and we're just gonna take a nice plie over to the side. Come on up and plie over to the other side and up. Good, let's add a little forward fold here and up to the side, forward fold and up. Getting into your body, taking a few deep breaths in and out through the nose, allowing just everything outside of you to just wash away and just be here right now. No matter what's going on in your life, Always being present here in your body is such a nice safe haven to have. So let's take the legs out nice and wide. We're gonna take a side bend. This is just part of our warm up as we get ready for a nice full body bar class. Reach both arms forward and then lower down onto the leg and bend the left knee and straighten, bend and straighten. I've got some really cool exercises planned for you today. I'm excited for us to do them together. Good, reach the arms forward and up and open. And I have a feeling this is the type of class that you're gonna wanna come back and do over and over again, because it's gonna challenge you in a new way every time, especially as you start to learn my moves. Good, nice, long, flat back, reach to the fingertips and reach down towards the ankles. I know my moves aren't like a typical bar class, so, I encourage you to keep coming back again and again to just get these types of moves into your body, explore and be curious with the way that you can move. All right, let's roll on up nice and slow. Take a nice big inhale in and exhale. Go ahead and grab your weights. We're gonna start with some hand weights here and legs are nice and wide. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Just squeeze and squeeze. So the biceps are turned on right here. I love working with the light hand weights because sometimes if you have shoulder injuries or things like that, this can really help to strengthen your posture, your back, all the muscles around your arm. Nice, let's do this for eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, reach it up and down. Go back again to here, little squeezes, and back, and back, and back. Good, I want you to just think about all the little muscles on your back, along your spine, ribs are in, squeeze and squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach it up and over eight times. Use that core. One other side, here we go. Nice, now lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, feel those shoulders work. Hold it here, reach it forward and back. Forward and back, nice. Lift the elbows up nice and high as you pull in, reach and in. Reach and in, and just don't think about anything else. Just be right here. Just kind of name everything outside of you as unimportant. Focus on your breath, making yourself the most important thing right now. Making yourself a priority, remembering that you are just so worthy of spending time on yourself, being here for yourself. Sometimes that's the hardest part, is just showing up here. 
making time in your mind, knowing that yes, I deserve this time to work on my body and my self-care and reach. Nice, let's do those two moves again. And up, lower, lots of shoulders. three and two and one good reach and out I want you to always remember to put your me time your workout time in your calendar because if it doesn't go in your calendar you know it doesn't happen <laughs> seven and eight Whew. okay we're gonna go into some triceps here so have the palms face up bend the knees straighten out through the back little lifts up and up and up and up nice Keep the arms as straight as you possibly can. Keep that core engaged as well. Lift it up, lift, lift, lift. So this is working the lats, the triceps, the back muscles. Make sure that you're not rounded, okay? Nice, long, flat back. Almost like you're trying to stick your chest out a little bit. Nice, now we're gonna extend. Reach and, so notice how high my elbows get. Get them super high, then extend from there, up. Three, two, let's do another set of eight right here. Eight, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Four, three, two, one. Let's do those two moves again. So we're gonna lift and lift. Straight arms, palms face back. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. One more set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, two sets of eight right here. Tricep extensions, get the elbows up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna come into a nice big second position. Now come into a grand plie right here. Take the arms and we're gonna pulse them back. And we're this time we're gonna reach and in. Reach and, right here, eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it right here, a little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's do that again. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, whew, five. I feel those biceps work a lot. Four, three, as we start to get into our legs. Two, one, pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. Eight, squeeze the booty on the way up. Seven, six, five, four, three, you're so strong, two, whew, one, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, hold your grand plie right here. We're just gonna pulse the legs. Now I want you to take a nice rounded position, elbows lifted, pulse it down, down, down. Holding the weights right here. Now if you want a little extra challenge, I'm gonna take the arm overhead and down, up and down. Now your goal is to keep those elbows up. I know usually the first thing is the elbows kind of fall. Keep them out, frame your face, up and up. We're sculpting your beautiful feminine physique. Up and up, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold both of the arms up overhead. I know the legs are burning. We're gonna lift both heels up and lower. Eight times, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do that one more time, just eight times each. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, elbows up, five, ribs down, belly in, four, three, two, 
and one. Hold both arms up, frame your face, lower and lift those heels for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, put those weights down. We're gonna move into some abs right now. <sighs> so good to work your arms like that, right? So let's move on. Lower all the way down onto your back. We're gonna take a nice little butterfly position, hands behind the head. Elbows are nice and wide, so I'm on my toes. And just give a little cough to make sure that your ribs are down. Nice, and then lift and lower. Lift and lower. We're just gonna warm up the core right here. We've already been really working the core a lot though. We worked a lot of those obliques when we were standing. But now we're just gonna solely focus on those abs. Another set of 10 right here. 10, nine. Try to get those shoulders up off of the floor as much as possible. Nice job. Now we're gonna lift the legs up. Keep them in that same little butterfly position and then lower. Here we go, two sets of 10. Another set of 10. Whew. Lots of good work right here. Try to get that shoulder stuff off of the floor. Just a slight little tap at the bottom. Six and five. Good, keep going. Four, three. On the last one, we're gonna hold it up. Two and one, hold it right here. We're just gonna do little crisscrosses right here and twist and twist, twist and twist. Nice, another set of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice work. Extend the legs long, we're gonna go into scissors now. So you're going to reach through the toes, and a nice long line through the leg. Beautiful, here we go for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach the arms for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. We're just gonna roll right over onto our left elbow and our left hip. Whew, lots of good work there. So we're gonna tap the knee and then we're gonna tap the toes. So you're gonna turn everything down. Notice how my hip rolls down and I tap my toes. I'm gonna elbows to knee, hand to foot. Here we go for 10, nine, you have to work those inner thighs as well. Eight, seven, six. Keep those knees together. Feel like you have something right there. Something important. Like a hundred dollar bill right there. Don't let it go. Good, five and four, Woo. three, two, and one, nice work. Let's go straight over to the other side. <sighs> These ones work the inner thighs a lot as well. And here we go. Elbow to knee, toe tap. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, and two, and one, and tap. 
Nice, now stand all the way up at the back of your mat and take a nice big inhale in and then exhale, full forward. Walk towards the top of the mat into a nice high plank pose. Walk yourself all the way back and rise on up. Good, we're just gonna do a few like that. Just to give yourself a little break, nice little active recovery here as you stretch into the legs. And just focus here on your body. I want you to think about a time in your life where you were so committed. You were so incredibly just all in and all committed. What did it take from you to be that person? And I think sometimes we forget that we're capable of being fully committed, being fully consistent. And maybe you're afraid that you are gonna fail again, but that's not possible. And so I really encourage you to just think of that time when you were super committed. Think of all the characteristics. Just remember that that's who you are and that you can always bring those characteristics back into your life again at any time, especially when it comes to your workouts, right? So let's hold a high plank pose here. We're just gonna tap the knees down and lift. Tap the knees down and lift, good. I know you've got this. And what I love about being consistent with my workout is just creating this sense of accomplishment every day. Builds my confidence. I just own the day as soon as I finish my workout, right? Six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good, take a little breather. Nice. Now we're gonna add on, we're gonna add a little push up here with a little leg lift. Good, for 10. Alternating legs with the leg lift. Nine, and up. Eight, seven, six, five. You can do it. Four, you can always put your knees down if you need to. Three, Two, one, and lift. Woo. All right, shake out those hands. We're gonna do one more plank pose here. We're just gonna tap the legs out and out, okay? I love planks because it really does work your upper body. So just make sure that those hands are slightly turned out like this, okay, not turned in. A little bit turned out. That'll help the placement of the shoulders. All right, let's do this. We're gonna tap in tap in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, grab your ankle weight if you'd like. If this is your very first time doing this video, I'd recommend trying it first without the ankle weight. But if you're ready for that extra challenge, join me. Put on that ankle weight and then we're also gonna be using the hand weights for a little extra spiciness in your workout. Okay, here we go. So now we're moving on to our leg section. Probably my favorite part. So we're gonna start by extending the leg straight back. Then you're gonna lower onto the elbow, extend the right leg back, okay? Alternating like that. Here we go. 10 and reach, nine, so you don't need to speed it up at all. I want you to actually move nice and smooth as if you're moving through butter or water or your favorite thick snack like honey, peanut butter. Lots of options. Good, five more. Five and reach. Four. Three. Point the toe. We're actually gonna do one more set of 10 here. I want you to think about your core right here. 10, and reach. Nine, shoulders over your wrists. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. 
four. Three, I'm already starting to feel a good fire in those buns. Two, and reach. And one, and reach. Nice job. So grab the weights, put them in your hands now, staying on all fours. We're gonna kick to the side, and then we're gonna lift the arms up and out to the side. Return back, okay? So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Here we go. Kick side, and up. Set of ten. Here we go. Reach. Two right here, two, and one, and up. Okay, so now we're gonna sit back onto the right hip. You can let go of the right weight. We're gonna extend all the way along here, pull it in, reach, and sit it down. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're really up on the shoulder. So if you're sinking here, that's not gonna be good. Make sure the hand is also slightly turned out so that when you put weight on it, you're in a good, solid shoulder position, okay? Here we go. And if it's too much with the weight, just take the weight out for the hand or the foot. I love this one because it really challenges your whole body, right? Whew. Arms, legs, glutes, abs. We're just doing 10 of those, these are pretty tough. Now you can place the weight down, keep the leg out, and let's kind of reposition ourselves a little bit so we're at a side plank, and we're just gonna lift and lower the leg 20 times right here. Hold on to that core, let's go. 10, nine, so I'm doing two sets of 10. Eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, one, another set of 10 right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, whew, five, you can do it. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now we're gonna add on here. We're gonna take a nice little side lunge here. Notice how my left hand is on my left knee. I'm gonna bend over and we're gonna go back to that leg lift, up, good. Reach, nice little inner thigh stretch as we work the obliques, and lift. Nice fluid movements, here we go. We're doing 20 of these. Nine, and up. Eight. Just find your rhythm, find your flow right here, and just get into your body and just let go. You make my heart burn 
just ask you to leave now with me. Can't get enough. Nice work. Feels good to just move in your body like that, right? Just know every time you come back here, you're gonna get stronger, more fluid, more graceful. Okay, now we're gonna go into a little pretzel, all right? So the ankle weight might be, it's a lot, but you can do it. So we're gonna do little pretzel lifts right here. So just lift and lift. Good, 20 right here again. Another set of 10, Woo. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, last move here. We're going to pull it in and squeeze. I want you to really squeeze around right here so you're really getting into the hamstring. So let it wrap in, wrap around, okay? In and back. In, ooh, this is a good one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do one more set of 10. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Enjoy the burn. Five, four. Just think about how tall and proud you're going to walk out of this class. Two, and one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woo. Let's take a quick stretch before we go on to the other side. So those were all the exercises. Now we get to do them on the other side. Lucky us. You have two beautiful legs that you get to work out. And I love working out this way because since the moves might be a little bit different, it doesn't feel as boring, really. It allows you to kind of get into your mind and connect with your body in a completely different way and helps you you know, to increase that mindfulness and body awareness because we're doing such unique moves here. All right, so let's move on to the other side now. You know what's coming, we're doing 20 exercises of every single one, 10 on that one hard one, I'll call it. And you ready? All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna start extending with the right leg, Drop to the right elbow, extend left. Here we go, two sets of 10. the weights, put it underneath your shoulders. We're gonna kick side, extend the arms. Here we go. Side and up. So much emotion, just pick your poison. Is every move you make even allowed? Kick it. 
So the reason why I created this one is because you're really working the outer glutes, you're working the arms, and your posture. And if you notice, you have to use your core a lot to shift from forward to back. Even here, to land softly, you have to really use your core, have full body awareness. Good. One more set of ten. You make my heart burn. It's like I'm awake inside of a dream. You're getting closer. Night's almost over. I might just ask you to leave now with me. Can't get enough. Okay, Whew. so in these, I love just being able to kind of get into your body, find your flow, let go, all right? And I really encourage you to just think positively. Whatever it is that you're thinking about in your head, keep the thoughts positive, let's go. Reach, pull it in, out, and down. 10 right here, 10. Last two, here we go. Two, in, out, and down. Last one, reach, in, out. Whew. All right, put that weight down. Lots of arm work here. And then just lift the leg, lift and lower. You can have the arm overhead or on the hip or right here. Good, all right, grab the weight. Now we've got our kneeling lunges here to the side. So you're gonna place the weight in your left elbow or left hand, place the elbow onto the knee, drop it down and lift. Okay, 20 times like that. If you need, put a little patty underneath your knee, it helps a lot. Good, here we go. Ten more. You've got this. I want to keep your thoughts positive, whether it's about yourself or your life. Always be giving yourself those positive encouragements, knowing that whatever you put your mind to, you will succeed. last 
last few ones. Think about lengthening out through your toes, through your fingers. Three, make yourself nice and long. Two. And one, beautiful. All right, put the weight down. Let's go into our pretzels. And let's go. So lean forward on those hands. Pull up that belly as much as you can. Lift up tall through the crown of the head and we're lifting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do our wraps. Let's go. Really squeeze, see how far you can get. Try to touch your toe, tap someone to the side of you. right here and then we've just got one finishing move and then you are all done. Three, two, and one. All right, take off those ankle weights. So we are gonna do one minute of our ballet burpees, okay? I know you guys love that move. That's gonna be our finishing move today. All right, so one minute on the clock. Here we go. And wait, no, actually let's start here. Like, what am I doing? Okay, we're gonna jump up, come up to the toes, lower down, hands on the floor, jump it back. You can add a push up if you'd like. Let's go, one minute starts now. You want to modify just step step up and then you can always do the push-up on your knees right here like that all right great modification such a good reminder to be able to get up and off the ground all the time Let's take one little cool down stretch together, but I encourage you to definitely go check out one of my other cool downs here so that you can get a full cool down. And just remember that whatever you put your mind to, you are so capable of it. And you did amazing, I know. It's always hard to talk after something like that. All right, great job. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're gonna find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days. After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of the smoothie and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below, join me now. I'll see you inside, bye.